Hello everyone, this is Brett. Just a video to show what is in our Record Store Day 2022 Black Friday haul. We picked up five things from Zia Records here in the Phoenix area. Uh, first thing up, this is Nico, live at the Library Theater in Manchester, 1983. Um, the one behind me was from the Hacienda, also in Manchester, 1983. And that was from the Record Store Day back in April, I guess it was. Um, I have this show on a, on a DVD, and um, it has an OB strip that comes with it, like the one in the behind me there. So, Nico, former member of the, of the Velvet Underground, singer, songwriter, model, actress, soul artist, music icon. I'm a big Nico fan, so I collect, uh, collect a lot of her stuff. Uh, rough live recording, and this one is... Um, on a crystal clear yellow vinyl, which I'll show you for fans and collectors. So they're warning you in advance that this recording uh, may not be suitable for everyone. And it does come off in, at times bootleg-ish. There's some feedback at one point. It's got a really, uh, a pretty extensive track listing collecting things from uh, from most of her, her career as well as her little stint in the Velvet Underground. Um, now, this was recorded between the release of her last two albums, 1981's Drama of Exile, and then her last one, 1985's Camera Obscura. Uh, these seem to be the two Nico albums that most people are unfamiliar with, and uh, Drama of Exile is, is so great. Uh, okay, so... I was very pleased that this one has probably my favorite Nico song from Desert Shore, Afraid. Uh, the one that goes, you are beautiful and you are alone. That song always just hits hard. Uh, it has the closing track as her cover of Bowie's Heroes. It has All Tomorrow's Parties uh, from the Velvet Underground. Vegas, incredible song, Janitor of Lunacy. And then you have Tananor, which ended up appearing on... Um, uh, camera obscura and no one is there frozen warnings femme fatale another uh, velvet underground song so for the nico fan and then uh it's a really cool i was a little confused when it said crystal clear yellow vinyl until i actually saw it and it is pretty crystal clear you can see right through it so that's the first thing nico live at the library theater 1983 all right, next up, of course, I was going to get this one. I got it digital, digitally back when it came out. This was the surprise, you know, from the surprise Bowie album, his second to last one the next day when that came out in early 2013. And then shortly after it, they released um, the one that's titled The Next Next um, the Next Day Extra EP, which included some outtakes and some remixes. So uh, I've had this digitally for a long time, so it was really nice that it uh, they put it out on vinyl. And mainly uh, the, uh, the track that I always really, really dug on this one is the version of Love Is Lost. It's the Hello Steve Reich mix by James Murphy for the DFA. Um, kind of a long mix of it, and it, it brings in some of those synth sounds uh, from um, ashes to Ashes back from the Scary Monsters album. So it's cool that they uh, put this out now on vinyl. All right, next up. Uh, this is Towns Van Zant At My Window, his 1987 album. Uh, this was uh, put out by Sugar Hill and, and, and then originally, and then Craft Recordings did this reissue. And this one is on a really... Nice sky blue vinyl, and it's got some marbling in there. Towns Van Zandt, if you're unfamiliar, kind of a singer-songwriter all the way back, you know, into the into the late '60s. Uh, I've talked about him in uh, some videos in the past, and this was one of his final recordings, and I think it was the only album he released back in 1987. And um, it uh, has, for the sake of the song, which is an older one of his own songs that he re-recorded. Uh, for this really great pressing towns van zandt all right next up this is the one um, sarah was most excited about this is brian ferry's 1993 album taxi uh, this is an album of covers from the uh, roxy music frontman includes i put a spell on you uh, all tomorrow's parties velvet underground um my favorite one on this one is the uh, will you love me tomorrow just a really stellar version of that. Great production. 
Uh, Brian Ferry's voice is always just incredible. He's got, you know, one of those vibratos in his voice that is just, just stellar. And to go with the title, Taxi, it's on yellow. All right, so now the last one. This is the one that I was most, we were both uh, super excited about, um, and this is the one we had to get. And this is Iggy Pops a Prey. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I had this digitally back when it came out. Um, it was an album that he had recorded and the record company rejected it because they said, you know, it's, you know, put out a rock album or whatever the case may be. So it's an album of all like, I guess you may think of it as like a crooner album. It's, I mean, it, this is so well suited to Iggy Pop. His voice on this, you sit in front of the speakers in that really rich baritone. Uh, I mean, he sounds just absolutely incredible on this. Uh, some songs are in French. The absolute highlight of this one is the version, for me anyways, is Only the Lonely, uh, the one that I know most from the Frank Sinatra album. Uh, uh, this is, if you can get your hands on one of these, this is just a beautiful album. And then this one also has the uh, little OB strip as well which uh, gives you track listing who is written by on the side new edition 10th anniversary it does a different artwork than the the digital one that i remember it has a poster in there um and i'll show I'll, I'll pull it out and show it to you but yeah just to do a quick rundown of some of the tracks on here it has a cover of michelle the beatles song which is really great the cole porter what is this thing called love with jazz standard um levan rose uh edith piaf uh, wrote the lyrics for that one. You have a Yoko Ono song, Everybody's Talking from Fred Neal. And the artwork on this is just really neat, these little sketches. It looks very French. You have the poster book, so uh, Iggy Pop talking about it. And there's all these sketches, the lyrics to it, and it folds out into a poster as well. So a big poster lyric booklet, which is super cool. And then the record is on this really vibrant pink color. So that uh, is the absolute uh, highlight for me um, for this uh, RSD. Was able to listen to everything twice. So really pleased with all the, all the picks. The quality of everything was really, really great. Um, once again, adding another Nico to this uh, live kind of bootleg series is always great. So. Uh, let me know what you guys got in the comment for Record Store Day, what you've been listening to, and um, I'll be back soon. Goodbye.